Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video I'd like to teach you how to create a single login screen and how to redirect users based on their user roles. Let's take a look at an illustration first so you can get a better understanding of what we're going to be building today. As you can see from this image we have a single login screen and depending on how you're identified inside the user table you'll be redirected to your own interface upon logging in. This video will show you how to create the authentication for three user levels but it's very easy to modify the table and some script to either make it less or more depending on the nature of your application. Before I show you how to create this, let's take a look at a live example that utilizes this exact workflow. So here I have my login screen deployed on a login.html web page. I'm going to go ahead and log in as Bob who I know is the administrator of the application. And once Bob logs in, you'll see a welcome message and then you'll also see the navigation menu pertaining to the administrators. Here I can link my additional data pages to go back and forth or navigate back and forth between my app. Now let's go ahead and log in as John who I know is the manager of the application. And when you log in as John you'll see your own welcome screen and then you're also going to see the navigation that pertains to all the managers. Last but not least let's log in as Kim. And Kim is the employee of the application so when I log in I can see the navigation for all the employees and I can see the welcome message for that user. So now let's go to our Caspio account. Let's take a look and see how this application or this workflow was created. So here's my application. I'm going to go ahead and click on open and I'm going to go directly to my tables. Let's open up design mode of the table so we can view the structure. And here's my table for all the users. You really just need one table for all of your users and the important fields that you'll need is some kind of a unique ID that's going to identify each one of your employees. You'll need the name of the employee, email, I'm using the email field which I made unique, this is going to be my username to log into the account. We have the password field and notice that I have three checkboxes here. I have the admin checkbox which is yes and no, I have the manager and I have the status. Notice that I don't have a checkbox for the employees. Your lowest level user role is not going to need a checkbox. In our case we have employees and the employees are going to be filtered based on the status checkbox. So include admin, manager and status. If you have additional user, uh, user roles then include them inside a table as additional checkboxes. So for example if you have the supervisor, add supervisor field, yes and no. Also include the status field and then you might have an additional user below the supervisor. Once you have set up your table correctly, the next step is to create three views and three views are going to filter our three user roles, admin, manager and employee. So I'm going to click on new and I'm going to include my user table here in the view and I'm going to call this admin view and let's put an underscore here because I think I'm already using the view in a different uh, application that I have. I'm going to click on next and what you have to do for the admin view is filter based on the admin checkbox inside your table and also the status checkbox. So later on when we add our script what it's going to look for is if admin is checked and if status is checked redirect that user to the admin URL. Click finish and there's our admin view. Let's create our manager view so based on the same table And now we need to filter based on the manager checkbox and also based on status. And last but not least, let's create our employee view. Again, based on the user table. And we're going to filter now based on just the status checkbox. If you recall from the table, we didn't have an employee checkbox. The employees are going to be filtered based on if they're active or inactive inside our table. When you're done, click finish. And the next step is to create now three authentications that pertain to all three of these views. So let's go to authentications and let's start off by creating our admin authentication first. So this is going to be based on the admin view. We'll use custom with Caspio data source. And down below, expand the advanced settings. And here you're going to have to make a few changes. And the first change that I'm going to make is enable auto login. 
and you have to make sure you enable auto login. That way the system will process you through the view and log you into your account. I also want to include two links here for logout destination and timeout upon redirection. And I'm just going to grab my login screen here that I've set up later on where I want my users to go upon login out. So here is my login URL and I'm going to include that URL here inside this field. I'm going to save it and I'm also going to include it for timeout re redirection that after two hours if the user is inactive inside their account I want, to, I want them to be logged out and taken to this page. Also if a person manually logs out by clicking on the logout link I want them to be able to go to this page which is the same login page. Now let's call this admin A for authentication now let's create authentication for our managers. So that's going to be the manager view. Custom and just follow the same steps here. We're going to go to advanced settings, enable auto login, and we're going to include that URL for this as well. And click create and we'll call a manager A authentication. And one more left is for the employees. Again, we'll use the employee view here, custom. And for the employees, because I'm going to be using this authentication later on when I create my login screen, for the label, I want to make sure this is email. Advanced settings, and again, enable auto login, and we're just going to include that URL. And let's create that. All right, so now that we have our table, user table created, we have our three views and we have our three authentications. The last step that's left is to create our login screen. So let's go to data pages, click on new. And the type of data page that you'll need is an HTML data page. So let's go ahead and use this, click on next. And let's call this data page login screen so we can find it later on. We're gonna apply our style and localization enable advanced options and enable parameters and make sure you restrict access based on your lowest user level inside your application in our in our case we have the employee authentication that's our lowest level user and this is how we want to pass or protect the login screen based on that authentication so not based on admin not manager but employee in the HTML page source this is where you want to copy and paste some script that we have on our knowledge base so if you refer back to this article, redirect after login, you can just go ahead and search for it. Down below we have this script that you can copy. And inside there you can just paste that script. It's very important that you rename, you rename your URL so where your users are going to go to. And also to rename your authenticated fields. So I'm going to go ahead and delete what's in, in between the quotes here. And I'm going to insert my admin field as a string and then you will see that authenticated field paste right in there also for the managers we're gonna go to delete in between and we're gonna insert the manager field as a string and for the employees you don't need anything because the employees are gonna be based on the filtered status checkbox so whatever if the checkbox is checked then take them here if it's not checked they're not gonna be able to log into their account and the last step that I want is to just include these URLs here where I want my users to be redirected upon login. And like I said, I have a page set up for that later on. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste my URL here. And I know that if it's an admin, I want them to be go to, going to admin.html. If it's employee, I want them to go to employee.html. So just have to rename my links. And last but not least, if it's, uh, sorry, this is going to be for the manager. And the last one is the employee. And just to clarify what this script means, basically, it's checking your fields in your table. So if the admin table is checked, I want to go here. If else, else if the manager field is checked, I want to go here. And if neither one of the checkboxes is checked, I want the employees to go here. And when you're done, go ahead and click Finish. And now we can deploy our login screen by copying our snippet of code. And I have my HTML down here below. 
Here's my login page. I have a placeholder for my login screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that code right over here. Click on save. And then I'm going to refresh my browser. And there's my login screen. And now it's authenticated based on those three authentications. Depending on what email and password I provide, I'm going to be taken to that page. To give you a, a quick example of how this works, I'm just going to create an additional data page inside my account to welcome the administrator once they log in. So I'm going to create an additional HTML page. I'm going to call this welcome admin screen. And I have to apply my style and my localization. Enable advanced options and parameters. And this time around, we want to restrict access based on the admin authentication. So you only apply the employee authentication on the login screen. But for all of your other data pages, you want to make sure you apply the correct authentication. And here we can just say welcome. And same way we were inserting the fields for the parameters before, we can just welcome and use the name as a string. And what this is going to do for every administrator that logs inside their account, they're going to be welcomed by their first and last name that we have inside our table. Finish. And now let's go ahead and deploy that. And let's go ahead and deploy that to our admin portal. And I redirected my admin user to admin.html. And I have my placeholder here. So I'm going to paste that code like this. I can refresh my browser. And now if I log in as the admin, it's going to take me to my admin page or admin.html. But before I do that, I know my table is empty. So let me go ahead and list one user inside my table by opening the table. And let's have maybe Ashley be our admin. So we'll say ash at test.com. Password is test. And why don't we just make the admin checkbox enabled for now and leave the status unchecked. And let's take a look and see what happens to our application. So we'll refresh. And we'll log in as ash and password was test. And if I try to log in, notice that the system is not going to let me log in. Let me refresh one more time. And now let's go back to our table. And why don't we check that status checkbox this time around. So if you're the owner of this application, you can restrict who can log into their account and who cannot. So we're going to save this. And now let's refresh one more time. And let's try to log in as Ashley one more time inside our account. And once I log in, notice that now it has that welcome message, welcome Ashley. We have our admin uh, navigation set up on this URL page. And just follow the same steps to create your welcome screen for the manager, welcome screen for the employee, and to continue building this application. And this is how easy it is to set up a uh, three user level authentication. Uh, depending on how many user levels you have, you might want to modify your table and some script. Uh, if you do need assistance, let us know. We're happy to assist you on this. It's a fairly quick and easy thing to do. I hope you enjoyed the video and let us know if you have any more questions. Thanks for watching.